Hello everyone. Welcome to Music Theory Grade 3 and we are in week 3 brought to you by To Enable. Today we're going to be discussing time signatures where we'll be looking at simple time, compound time and grouping. Time signatures. Time signatures indicate to us the rate at which the notes are changing. It is always placed at the beginning of the stuff following the key signature. There are two types of time signatures, namely simple time and compound time. Simple time signatures. They can be characterized as single note beats that can be divided into two. We have what we call simple duple time, where duple means two. That means two beats. We have simple triple time where it means three beats in a bar. Then we have simple quadruple time, where quadruple means four beats in a bar. Below are the subdivisions of simple time signatures. Remember I said that duple means 2, the example here it's 2, 4, where there are 2 beats of crotchets. There are crotchets. So that means that it's 2 crotchet beats which can be further subdivided into 2 groups of two quavers each. That's why it's called duple time because we have two groups of two quavers each. Then we are also looking at the triple time, simple triple time, where triple as I said means three. So it will be three beats of crotchets, three crotchet beats, one, two, three, which can be subdivided into three groups of two quavers. Then we have the simple quadruple time. Remember quadruple means four. What kind of beats are they? They are crotchet beats. So it's one, two, three, four crotchets, which can be subdivided into four groups of two quavers each. Examples of simple time signatures. We have figure one and figure two. In figure one, we notice how a beat can be subdivided into two quavers in simple time signatures. There, in bar one of figure one, these are two beats which are subdivided into two quavers in each group. Same in the next bar and also in this bar. Here we have only crotchets. In figure two, the three, four. In bar one, we have the first beat, which is a crotchet. The second beat is two quavers. Same with the third beat. And so on and so forth. So, also, 
every note is grouped to a single beat note. So that what that's what we mean when we say single beat note. We mean there's a single note, which is the crotchet. It's grouped on its own. Same with those quavers over here. And so on and so forth. Figure three. It's in 4-4 four, four time. Which is simple quadruple time. Where we have four crochet beads. In figure three. What's important to realize. Figure three bar two. We notice that everything is grouped to a single note beat. There's our second group or the second bar. Our first beat. There's our second beat over there. That's the second beat over there. We have a dotted quaver with a semi quaver. That will be beat 2 which is equals to 1 crochet third beat it's the crochet it's tied to the fourth beat where the quaver and two semi quavers make up one crochet therefore even if we use a different rhythm or note value they must always be grouped to a single beat note in simple time signatures compound time signatures compound time signatures we can characterize them as dotted note beats that can be divided into three. Just like in simple time, we also have compound time, jubile compound time, where jubile means two, remember? So because all the beats are subdivided into three. What will six divide by three be? Two. That's why in six four or six eight or six sixteen the will be two groups of quavers or crochets or semi-quavers depending on which beats are then in compound triple time we are subdividing into three groups where nine divided by three will be three same in compound quadruple time where 12 divided by three will be four Below are the subdivisions of compound time signatures. We have compound duple time, where our example is a 6-8. That means 6 beats. What kind of beats? Quaver beats. Now, 3 quaver beats make up a dotted crotchet. That's the first beat. And then the second beat will also have three quavers, which is the first group and the second group, which means compound triple time. Compound triple time. We have nine beats. What kind of beats? Quaver beats. 
So, which will equal to how many beats? Three beats. Three dotted beats. Which will make up three groups of three quavers each. Then we have the compound quadruple time where it's 12 quaver beats in a bar which make up four dotted crutched beats where they have been subdivided into four groups of three quavers. Examples of compound time signatures. In figure one, we can see how the dotted note is treated as two groups of three. There's our compound time. You see that? Two groups of three. That is the reason why it is called 6-8 and is classified under the compound duple time. Another example will be figure 2. In figure 2, we still have the dotted note beat for each group. So this group is a dotted note. This group is a dotted note. This group is a dotted note. In 9-8, there are three groups of three. Classic, it is classified under compound triple time. Division of simple time and compound time. In this section, we are just looking at the differences between simple division of given duration and compound divisions of given duration. So say for instance we have a time signature with quaver beats then it will be subdivided into two semi-quavers. If it's a crutched beat then it's two quavers. Meaning beats then it's two crutches and semi brief beats, it's two minims. In compound time, if we have dotted quaver beats, then it's three semi quavers. Dotted crutchet, three quavers. Dotted minim. Three crutchets. We notice that in compound time, it is the dotted beat. You must remember this. They can be divided into three equal parts. Thank you very much. You may enjoy your day.